I often wondered why I had to go through the things I did, why I was so unlovable, why people always treated me horribly, why I didn't have this normal life that I watched other people have. I lost hope. I didn't feel like I belonged anywhere, and I didn't feel that I deserved happiness. Ellie is an amazing kid, but she is probably, she's probably one of the kids that was the least hopeful. She just really didn't believe that she was worth anything. A child who has nobody and needs somebody that's going to step up for them. I met Sean and Matt in a placement for foster kids who are still waiting to find a foster home or just their permanent placements. And they would come in and volunteer and teach about geology and play fun games with us. There was something special about the relationship with Ellie that just seemed very natural, just seemed very um, unique. You could tell she was shy, but she also loved meeting people. And it was soon after that that my wife and I decided to get really serious about the prospect of fostering and adopting and doing classes. Hi, this is Chelsea. I've never had someone that was an adult actually just stay by my side for so long. She was very instrumental through this whole thing. We were able to always ask Chelsea, you know, hey, this has popped up, what do we do? Who do we need to talk to? She would go the extra mile. <laughs> my name is Elizabeth F. Halter. For the first 16 years of my life, I bounced around different homes within my biological family, and I had many different caregivers. I was in residential placements, I was made promises by different people, only for them to not follow through with those promises. I was abused, I was bullied in school and at home. I didn't seem to fit in anywhere. It's something that you don't want anyone to ever have to go through. The things that Ellie has persevered through will only make her a stronger person that will be able to take on the world. And I really, I really think that she can do that. You know, when we met her, she didn't think she would live past 18. And now we have a kid who's planning on college and jobs and realized that she can do all of this. You just have to keep pushing and you have to keep trying. You can't give up. You are worthy of being loved. You are worthy of having happiness in your life. You are worthy of having hope and you are worthy of having that family.